we'll stay on top of this. New tonight, we're also hearing from the former Rushville pastor found not guilty of child molestation and other crimes. And Gary Evans and his attorney spoke only with News 8's Julia Dang. And Julia, it didn't seem like a tough call for the jury to make. Yeah, Brooke, they deliberated for only about 40 minutes before acquitting wow. Gary Evans on all 14 felony counts. His attorney called him a victim of confirmation bias. And he says, although he was convinced of Gary's innocence, he was petrified of taking this case to trial. The verdict was in. God's will has been done. Not guilty. The two words former pastor Gary Evans had waited two years to hear. But it still hurts. In October 2017, Evans was arrested and ultimately charged with 14 counts of child molestation, sexual battery, and child solicitation. Authorities launched their investigation after police say a three year old girl claimed Evans had sexually assaulted her in his office at Rushville Baptist Temple. We can preach all day about the presumption of innocence. We're starting a hundred yard race, 50 yards behind when the jurors are brought in and they're told of those types of allegations. Defense attorney Judd McMillan told the jury detectives may have interpreted evidence as confirmation of what they already believed to be true. After the accusations circulated online and after police urged parents to talk to their children about inappropriate contact, five more alleged victims came forward. Nobody ever asked the kids what they told their moms. So there was never a opportunity for the kids to tell their story again. Lead investigators could not be reached for comment. News 8 obtained transcripts of interviews conducted with the children, all under the age of eight, in addition to audio of the initial accuser being shown a photo lineup. They bring her in, and despite putting the pastor as number five right in front of her, despite putting Gary right in front of her, she never picks him out. They ask her 19 direct times. You don't see the pastor on that page? The defense team told the court the first child described a different perpetrator. Attorneys argued the next four, two pairs of sisters, told identical stories as if they had been coached. And they claim the final account hid unreliable details about location. I've been trapped for two years, not able to get out of my house. I was gone to prison for seven months. That, that's, that's the state penitentiary I came. Innocent. Knowing that I did not do it, and uh, it, it hurt real bad, and it's still hurting. And moving forward, he and his attorneys have not ruled out the possibility of taking civil action. Prosecutors did not return calls from News 8 seeking comment.